I always wonder how a computer works that can do different operations like making arithmetic operations, playing games, and connecting people across the globe. Hence, I will try to make an 8-bit computer based on the book but how do it know? The CPU itself as the core of the computer consists of ALU, arithmetic logic unit, control unit, and specified registers. For this video, I will make the ALU that can perform the arithmetic operations and logic operation based on the code which will be introduced later. If you want to know about the history of the computer, I will put the video's link at the description below so that you can know about how it works and how it has developed from beginning till now. Here I will make a 1-bit register by using D flip-flop memory cell to remember the data input. If the load is on, the D flip-flop output is followed by the input. Correspondingly, if the load is off, the D flip-flop output won't be changed by the input. When the load is zero, the Q output will be put into the input and produce the same result, and when the load is one it will pass the D into the input. Because my project is related to the 8-bit computer, hence it requires 8-bit register that can store for the 8-bit data. Here is the finished version of 8-bit register, and I use the register to build left and right shift register, which shifting the data by 1 bit to the left and right. For the shift out and shift in just like the C in and C out of the adder, C out can basically think of shifting overflow, and C in which means you put the bit shifting into the register. Next, I will make 1 bit adder, and later on build up the 8-bit adder for the arithmetic operation of the ALU. I test for every input and make sure it produces to the related correct output. You can watch back to my adder video if you don't familiar with the truth table of the adder. Let's assume that our first adder is the most significant bit and the last adder is the least significant bit. For constructing the 8-bit adder, we can connect the carry-in pin of the first adder to the carry-out pin of the second adder, and so on. At the end, you will left out the carry-out pin of the first adder, and the carry-in pin of the last adder unconnected. For selecting which operation that ALU need to do, we need 3 to 8 decoder by using 3 bits of inputs to select for the 8 different outputs. Here you can see that 000 will pick the first output, 001 will pick the next and keep going till the end. For building one bit comparator, first we need the XOR gate because when A is equal to B it will give 0 and when A is not equal to B it will give 1. All bits above are equal means that if the higher bits are equal this output pin will give 1. So by using AND gate to combine all of the above bits and the current bit when they are all equal, which can be categorized as equal state. Any of these two cases can prove that A is larger than B. The first case is when the upper bits of A is larger than B. And for the second case is when the upper bits are equal, the current bit of A is larger than B. 
So we assume that the first carburetor is the most significant bit, and the last one is the least significant bit. We need to put 1 to the all bits above pin, and 0 to the A is larger pin to the first adder, as there is no more higher bit than the most significant bit. In order to perform an 8-bit carburetor, we need to connect the OR gate output pin of the first carburetor to the A is larger input pin of the second carburetor. Besides that, we also need to connect the AND gate output of the first carburetor to the all bit above input pin of the second carburetor. Let's us combine all the logic gates, adder, carburetor, shift left and shift right register together to form this ALU. Remember to use controlled buffer gate to separate the individual components connection from all of the output bus, carry out bus and carry in bus. Now let's us test for all of the operation that ALU can be performed in different of code. end this video by here, and for the next video we are going to look for constructing the control unit to control the ALU between the memory unit and the register.